Hey, what's going on, ecosystem? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel Mic Check. Can you see me and hear me okay? I think I got the stream connected. So thank you so much for joining me again on a Tuesday night. I sure do appreciate it. You know, my goal every Tuesday night is to bring you another trade show level business presentation to you wherever you are. Because your business deserves the latest in auto transport information and I know you're busy and if you are you know you can skip ahead uh, what I'm gonna do here in the next day or two is I'll finish the video description below there's clickable time codes you can click ahead find the parts you're looking for feel free to do that please do remember to share comment tell your friends thanks for watching ATI I sure do appreciate it so where did you get that idea um, did you start a business, open a technology, service, product, concept? What are you doing and why are you doing it? Are you doing it wrong? We're going to, you know what? I need your help. To answer that question, I need your help in the live chat. I want you to comment. This is going to be a big show. And so to open it up, we've got Ty Thompson, Cars on the Move. We've got Tim Scatalus, Max Digital, Mike Buchanan of ARI, Eddie Ingram, 5-4 Transport. We have an ideas panel discussion with Candy of Jacksport Storage, Ron NYC Traffic Inc., and Lawrence of First Class Global. So, my friends, thank you so much for joining tonight. I think this is going to be a cool show. I think we're live. I think you can hear me. Please let me know. Please do join the live chat. Share your thoughts, ask your questions, grow your business, because it's Tuesday Nights Live on Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, your host. Welcome back to the show. Ty sent me a text. He says you're not on. Mic check one, two, three. I think I'm on now. So I think you can see me and hear me. And thank you so much. And please let me know if the signal's okay. Yeah, I had a uh, I had a hiccup last minute there. You know, a week ago I was in Colorado and I used the same stream link, and then I had to change the. You know, you know how it is. Show business. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Please do. If this is your first time at Auto Transport Intel, please do feel welcome. This is an open forum. It's for everybody. Carriers, brokers, yep. Dealers, yep. Auctions, OEMs, dispatchers, everybody. Pile right in. Say hello. Please jump in the live chat. Please do say hello. Let us know what's going on with you. We're going to go into the live chat here in a few minutes and say hello. Also, then I'm going to get to industry news. That's at the quarter hour. Industry news, national news, social media news, front of the store, back of the store. What is going on? What's going on with this chip shortage and how it affects everything? Like, literally. Um, and then we're going to go into... Okay. Oh, yeah. We haven't... Oh, I, I forgot to mention it. We have a, a question superhighway? That's coming up. That's going to be pretty cool. We're going to do that. And after the question superhighway, Ty Thompson, we're going to bring in Ty. Because Ty and I love to talk about, what are you doing? And why? Where did you get that idea? <laughs> we're going to talk about that. So then Ty is going to help me bring in... Okay, so we're going to bring in Tim Scatalus, Max Digital. That's Melting Block of Ice Tim. Um, every last Friday of the month on Cars on the Move. He'll be here this Friday. He's here tonight. That's two, two Tims in one week. 
We're also going to bring in, we got Mike Buchanan of ARI. Mike is a shooting star happening on LinkedIn, and we're so excited to have him here on ATI again tonight. Thank you so much, Mike. And then Annie Ingram from 5-4 Transport. He's going to be talking about his ideas and what's going on. So, yeah, I know. It's a mix. It's, where'd you get that idea? How's that idea going? Are you pivoting? You know, where are you in your... I wanted to say ballet, but I know that isn't going to work. And then we've got the ideas discussion panel with Ron, Candy, and Lawrence. So it is. It's an upper-level wheel of topics. Uh, the community's grown so much. And, man, the meetings and the people we talk to, it is incredible what's happening. So please do share this show. You can click share, click copy, grab that YouTube link, text it, email it, share it on social media, send it to a friend. We're going to be live for about two hours. So if you've got ideas or you've had ideas, good ideas, bad ideas, you know it's a good idea. Go to autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up. Become an ATI insider. Talk to Ty. He's here tonight. He's in the live chat, and he wants to help you. And that's what we're here for. We really do want to help. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, being a part of the show. Do me a favor. Stick around, because right after this, we're going to do that. If you own a small or medium-sized vehicle hauling business, you need to join the National Vehicle Transporters Alliance. NVTA was created by car haulers for car haulers. As a member of NVTA, you will have access to saving up to 25% on complete business insurance, access to 24-7 roadside assistance, discounts on fuel, tires, parts, repairs, and so much more. NVTA is here to help keep you moving for the long haul. Visit GoNTVA.org to learn more and become a member today. National Vehicle Transporters Alliance created by car haulers for car haulers, providing discounts and savings and programs. It's for small and mid-sized carriers. Visit GoNVTA.org. And if you need help, let me know. I'm Jay at Auto Transport Intel, and I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much. Let's do this. Let's go into the live chat. Let's say hello. Wow, we already got... Wow, we got cowbell already. Mark is on the screen. Um, that is Mark Rodeke. That's Super Flow Systems. Welcome back for full ver version ATI. Yeah, Mark, I owe you a cowbell for last week in Durango in the mountains. That was craziness. Total craziness, um, and it was a wonderful time to get away, and it's great to be back, so thank you so much, Mark Grodeke, Super Flow Systems, end-to-end -end auto transport software. Thank you, Mark. Um, I'm going to back the chat up to the beginning. John at Finest Towing Recovery is in here first. Hello, everyone. Hope you had an awesome vacation at the Dude Ranch. Oh, oh yes, I did. Thank you, and I got a few pictures, so stick around. Uh, Ty is in here. What is going on? Is this where we get ideas? Uh, supposedly. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, yes, and yes, they're in Florida. I knew that. Awesome. Congratulations. Super Dispatch is here. What is going on, Super Dispatch? Saying hello in the live chat. What is going on? I see craziness afoot. Mwah. Hey, what's up, Kimberly? Welcome to Tuesday Nights Live with your host, Jay. That's me. Hey. They're talking about me. You know why? Because we're talking about you. What is going on? Like the hunchback of Notre Dame over here. Listen, sharing ideas and information is how you move an industry forward. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for being, bringing ideas and learning from each other. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much. Um, it is pretty amazing what's happening. And um, I'm excited about it. And it's great to be a part of... Uh, it's great to be a part of the community and and pass around the microphone. You know what? You got something to say? I'll give you the microphone. Say it. Do it. Let's do this thing. So thank you so much, Super Dispatch and Ben. I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Candy from Jack Sports Storage is here. What is going on, Candy? Victor Almeida, hello from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What's up, Victor? Thanks for saying hello. That's cool. Carlos Braxton. Yeah, get that man a beer truck huh okay yeah thank you carlos thanks for tuning in. hope you're doing well buddy part of the core part of the core 
feels feels good to have you here. I just I hope I hope you're back on the road. Maybe we'll uh, let's 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 do a Carlos update. We need Carlos updates on Thursdays. Roberto Hernandez is here. What's going on? Hey, thanks for saying hello and tuning in from Black Widow. BlackWidowImaging.com. We got another one. Chris is ringing the cowbell. Wow. Thank you so much. That's Chris Chamberlain, our friend in the Northeast. Uh, it's either Pennsylvania or Ohio. What is the... <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's Pennsylvania. So, Chris, thank you so much for taking the time. And actually, Chris, here's a secret. Psst, we wanted to have you on the show tonight. I don't think we were able to get you on tonight, though. Um, we need to get with your PR pre people and, uh, and make that happen. So thank you so much, Chris. That is awesome. And thank you for your contribution. That means a lot. Uh, who else we got in here? Vistaga's here. I'm hauling a carnival ride. Wow. You're definitely doing it wrong. Uh, well, yeah, you know, maybe it's an, it's an in, where did you get the idea? Where did you get that idea to haul that carnival ride? Michael Keller is here. What is going on, Michael? Um, you know, what's interesting when you travel somewhere. Oh my gosh. What you don't predict. Um, I had a great vacation, but it was, there was craziness afoot. That twice now that you've said afoot. I, I sense, I sense a third and only. Don't make it four. Uh, Mike Buchanan. Okay, great. The sound is good. Look is good. The, sa the sound... Thank you, Mike. I was going to say something about the looks, but you know what? I think we got it. Tron Mixon is here. What is going on? Safe and secure towing riding with you from Texas. That's cool. Thanks, Tyrone. From tuning in and uh, being on the road. That's awesome. I really do appreciate it. And you know, that's, that's definitely something that... Uh, wasn't lost on me, man. I'm I'm, I'm gonna run out of time tonight. Um, man, being on the road, right? You guys, you're out there on the road. I'm sitting at a desk, but I had, I was discombobulated last Tuesday. That's what I should have called it. Discombobulated from Durango. Uh, Mark is here. Oh yeah, of course, Mark is here. He's in the uh, he's ringing the cowbell. Uh, oh, I'm back because YouTube hasn't banned me like Facebook has repeatedly. Interesting. Thank you for the feedback. Where did you get that idea? <laughs> uh, it's not an idea, Jay. It's a fact. Adriana Macias, what's going on? A little late to the party, but you know what? Uh, you can never be late to a, uh, a great party. So thank you for showing up. Sky Hallman is here. What's going on, Sky? Thanks for tuning in, saying hello, ringing the bell, walking in the door. Great. It's time. We got to go to industry news. We got to get to that. So I tell you what, stick around. After this, industry news, it's going to be great. You know the value of a hard day's work because you're out there living it. Long hours, hard days, and a dollar that doesn't stretch as far as you'd like. But what if you had more time at home? What if you had more money at the end of the month? Where is it that your mind wanders on long, open roads? What is it that nags you at night? How could your life be better? More money, more freedom, less stress. What if I told you I could help you spend less time on the road while making more money? What if I told you that you could plan your next trip in under two minutes? Both of these things are true with Dispatch Center. Turn the corner with us. Start your next chapter today. Save valuable time by finding the right loads faster with Dispatch Center by Superflow Systems. Make your load management life easier. Visit DispatchCenter.com. Do that now. Sign up, log in, get started, and Mark is in the live chat if you got any questions. Thank you so much, Mark. Let's do some industry news. It is time you know this. This is, where did you get that idea? Uh, well... This is show number 200 in a row on a Tuesday night. So thank you so much uh, for that. You know, I can be queue up. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of show is this? He's got to queue up his own applause. Really do appreciate it. Big milestone for me. Uh, that's a personal milestone. I've never, 
I've never done 200 shows of anything. I've done, I've, I did do, I made it to 100 with a previous program, but not 200. This is incredible. Thank you all so much. And in fact, uh, to uh, to do it right, we're going to go into the information superhighway. Where did you get that idea? And we're going to talk about where did you get that idea? You know, auto transport industry ecosystem, as I've identified it, 10 verticals, OEMs, auctions, dealers, shippers, brokers, services, carriers, equipment, regulations, and loads, all separate verticals fragmented not all of them but especially ours right i mean what what is going on here i say you i say carriers you say brokers carriers no nobody does that nobody says carrier broker in the same sentence and and likes it well some people do we we you know what and that's the old me right the old dispatcher me and i but it's still it's it's out there it's just like, uh, what? You say stinger, I say wedgie, stinger. No, no, we're not going to do that. So we're going to do that. Services, carriers, shippers, and brokers. I say back of the store, you say front of the store, back of the store, front of the store. It's the year of the hybrid. Digital meets physical. And when the auction is a packed house, you'll find Ty in the clubhouse. At Ty Transport Guy. Say hello to him. Ty, what is going on with Clubhouse lately? We should check. I'm going to make a note of that. I'm going to ask Ty. Look at this. I have no notes as of right now. So Clubhouse. We're going to ask Ty about Clubhouse. Please help remind me to do that. Uh, oh, you're not a big fan of the auctions? That's funny. Because the NAAA member auctions reported $100 billion in sales in 2020. 7.9 million units worth of... Uh, that's 7.9 million units. You know, average prices are up. The largest, okay, dealer consignment represented the largest number of units sold, 47%. Wow, that's amazing. That's a huge number. All right, okay. So you got Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos fighting over space, right? Cool, right? Um, you know what might be cooler than that is uh, how much uh, ground... Tesla, look at Elon. He's like, yeah, you guys go ahead. You guys take space. I'm going to own automotive. Uh, Tesla factory is probably likely in India. Have you seen? Let's Okay. This is the Gigafactory in Berlin. This is the Gigafactory in Texas from six months ago to today. All right. That's just two of his Gigafactories. Um, Tesla is breaking its own delivery record by building and shipping 200,000 vehicles in Q2 2021. They had like this 38 page uh, investor document. And uh, here we go. Yeah, look, Q2 2020, 80,000 plus. Going up, going up, over 200,000. Tesla is kind of showing many companies how it's done. And then two of Tesla's most promising rivals, they're getting delayed. Um,. Yes, pandemic stuff. Yes, chip shortage stuff. And and they're not alone. Tesla, yes. Uh, this is interesting. Tesla's, this was on Twitter. The Model S's have been sitting at their temporary lot. Why, where's my car? Right? I want my car. Oh, it doesn't have all of the chips. Oh, yeah, there's that chip. Yeah, the chip thing. Um, speaking of, 41% of those planning to buy a car may go electric, which is going to need chips. We'll get that figured out. Um, GM is adding towing to its automatic and automatic lane changing to its Super Cruise. There you go. There's a guy towing. Is it? Is he autonomous? Is any? Does he have his hands on the wheel? I don't know. We don't know. Um, but there is a plan. Yes. You hear about the levels of autonomous? So I, I, I got a fancy arrow at the bottom there. Yes. In level zero, you definitely must drive. In level five. I guess, you know, you could be sleeping or, you know, getting ready for baseball. I don't know. But the thing is, is that VW is pushing ahead with its super platform for self-driving electric cars. What we can't ignore is that this is not going away. Autonomous cars, electric cars, self-driving, autonomous electric UFOs. No, it doesn't say that in there. Ford could start shipping unchipped vehicles to dealers later this year. I was reading about this, too. You know, there's there's no better idea than uh, shipping an unfinished vehicle to dealers and having the service technicians get the rest of the chips in. Do those go next to the USB and the SD slots? 
Exactly. What do we do? How could anything go wrong when back-ordered semiconductor chips do become available? Dealerships will insert them into component cars that the customers have already selected. What could go wrong? Shipping would not happen right away if the companies do move forward on the plan. Shipping can happen before the year's end. This is by year's end. And the customers can take custody of the vehicle sooner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Where did you get that idea? I know, right? Because you actually, they're running out of space. They're parking cars left and right that need chips. Dealers are, the parking lots are empty. The customer wants it their way. It's got to be a way to figure this all out. Ford reinstates mask mandates in two states. Yippee! Um, Cox Automotive, Penske, they debut an online platform for retailing used vehicles with Car Shop. Odessa launches enhanced on site vehicle geolocating. Um, let's see, placed securely in, on each vehicle upon arrival at Odessa, the GPS devices can be accessed through the vehicle locator phone. Wait, placed securely on each vehicle. Oh, you got to do physically. Okay. So anyways, news. Uh, oh, hey, Rivian. Electric van spotted in Detroit delivering Amazon packages. All right. Who delivered it? This is how you get your car shipping news. Even if it's... I know. It's a little... Right? It's different. It's a little different. But it's still news. It still counts as news. This is auto transport intel. You can put it up on the big screen. And you can also go to Dispatch Summer, Dispatch Summer, interesting. Go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry. This is your chance to play the game. Here it is, Tuesday nights at about 8.25 tonight. Five questions. Here we go. Oh, and there's my live show link. Here we go. Ready? Question one. According to a 2014 survey of the trucking industry what is the average distance of each trip 519 825 927 1055 miles that's an interesting question what is the average distance of each trip i don't know the answers larry alexa open quotify okay while you deal with that what is the most appropriate carrier pay amount to ship a non-running 2016 Toyota Camry from Cincinnati, Ohio to Billings, Montana? 890, 1020, 1275, 1550. If you're following along on the podcast, thank you so much for doing so. Thank you for guessing, Michael and Victor. Ooh, we got two guesses that are the same. That's good. What's your guess on this one? What's the most appropriate carrier pay amount? And by the way, while you're looking at that, oh, you can't see it? Um, Larry, the transport auto quoter llama, the quotify llama at Superflow Systems, he knows his stuff. He calculates current market rates based on volume, distance, off routeness. <laughs> And he knows the answer, so it's tough, I know, and sometimes it's hard knocks. This is what it'll take to get it moved, not what it'll take to get you rich. Oscar Glenn March Sr. is an inventor from Oklahoma. While he did not file a patent for this item, he is credited with inventing what? Mud flaps, windshield wipers, seat belts, power locks, now, I don't think it's windshield wipers, because I've seen that movie. Flash of Genius, I think. I'm going to go with mud flaps. Nah, I'm sure I'm wrong. <laughs> What's your guess? What is your guess? I'd love to know. Please let us know. Please type it in the live chat. Got some great... Thanks for the interaction and the uh, engagement. That's cool. Very cool. They got that idea when they got the storage bill for all the cars sitting around right What is the most appropriate carrier pay amount to ship a 2019 Ford EcoSport from Atlanta, Georgia to Tulsa, Oklahoma? 527, 95, 905, or 1015? And you know what's really messed up? I guessed mud flaps based on the name and the city. Is that, is that 
is that a TMI? I think that's a TMI. Most appropriate care pay amount. And I I spent some time in Oklahoma, so I don't know. Uh 1015. What is it? Atlanta to Tulsa? Um You know, we get the answers on Thursdays. On Thursdays on Dispatching Live, we reveal the answers, so please tune in on Thursday to get the answer. We got one more. Please do guess. Please do chime in. When searching for loads, right, <laughs> on Dispatch Center, you can account for truck capacity, backhauls, route optimization, all of the above. I was in Oklahoma for a long time, actually. It was a long time. When searching for loads on Dispatch Center, you can account for truck capacity, backhauls. Ooh, I got this one. Awesome. Thank good. I need one. I needed one of them. Okay, so I'll tell you what, that's five. That is five for five. Thank you so much, Larry. It's fun. It's fun. Oh, oh, oh Michael. Michael took the heat off me. Thank you, Michael. Flag on the play. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, do go to ATI and sign up. Autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up. Become an ATI insider. Talk to Ty. Join us. We're live four times a week. Tuesday night's live at 8. Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, all at noon. DOT compliance, dispatching live, cars on the move. It's turning out to be a heck of a lineup, actually. Really cool. Since the beginning of this year, we've been pulling this off. Uh, join us. Actually, we're going to go late tomorrow with Brian. I think it's going to be at 3.30. And make sure you tune in for How We Doing. Got new, hey, we've got new How We Doing theme music. kind of ridiculous but how we doing is an interesting segment dispatching live load board search advice thursdays at noon that's with me and sue and we want to help you 90 minutes of load board search advice plus we got muggo problems and the answers to the larry's questions join us on fridays cars on the move dealers auctions carriers where uh hey we got the melting block of ice on friday with tim right a vehicle that you've acquired is is a block of ice. It's now melting. How much is that melting block of ice going to melt before uh, you're ready to move it on to your customer? You going to let that thing melt? We're going to cover that on Friday. Uh, yes, I was in Durango a week ago. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Look at that. Ringing the cowbell. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you so much for the contribution. That is so cool. We're going to have you here tonight, and we really do appreciate your support. And I know that you've been in touch with Ty. And that's what's cool. Um, wh what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to add Ty, and we're going to keep Ty, and then we're going to add Tim. We're going to keep Tim and Ty. Then we're going to add Mike. Mike, Tim, Ty. Then we're going to add Eddie. We're just going to keep adding. It's going to keep growing. We're going to we're going to get this party rolling, and then those folks are going to help me. And then we don't. Nobody has a list. Of, again, I have a pretty blank page. I got one thing written about Clubhouse. I have no questions written down. Uh, that pretty much sums it up for being live in Durango. There it is. There's the shot of me on the raft with uh, with the kids and the fam. Man, it was amazing. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, there is a train that you can take when you're in Durango. Do that. Now, this is the train to Cascade. It's also called the Silverton train. It is incredible, and it runs on diesel now. No more coal. No more clean coal, dirty coal, or otherwise. It's diesel. You can ride in the open gondola car. You can see the train is bending to the left. You are looking outside. It is unbelievable. It's an amazing time. Do it. Highly recommended. Durango's awesome. Hey, did you miss the vlog show? That was two weeks ago. Cloud-based tracking, virtual logistics, vlog. Check it out. Learn more about it. Um, also, Black Widow. Thank you, Black Widow. We've got a uh, an edited version of Jason 
and Joel and Wynn. Man, love the Black Widow team. They'll be coming back in August. And also, thank you, NVTA, National Vehicle Transporters Alliance. It is inevitable. Tires will fade. Parts will rust. What's going on with you? They want to help. Get some discounts. Go NVTA.org. And that's and that's second time I said with you. I know. Uh oh, the I A R A. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, what's gonna happen is in August, August twenty fourth to through the twenty sixth. Uh, it's I think the thir third week in August. So Ty is gonna be live. In San Antonio at the IARA conference. I'm going to be back here sitting in the chair and we're going to go live from the IARA summer round table. Wow. That is going to be amazing. Um, and then, if that's not enough, now I'm going to be at the Chicago Hilton for the NAAA convention. These conventions have proven, am I right, man? These conventions, you know, it's interesting. We just, we, we, we thought they'd be a big deal. They're huge. Not for everybody, but overall, as we look at the macro of the industry, and you see it in industry news, like we're talking about, like, you know, yeah, it's like, what are they talking about? Some of this stuff, I have no idea, and that's the whole point. We're looking at the, we're trying to put our arms around the industry as a whole from a transport perspective. Well, when we go to these trade shows, more and more, we meet folks. You see, look, there, you know these, you know these groups? Right? You know a lot of these logos. Well, uh, I'm going to be at the NAAA end of September. Again, that's Ty at the IARA in August in San Antonio. Jay at the NAAA in Chicago end of September. And then Ty is going back for more. He's going to Detroit for the Automotive Logistics Supply Chain uh, event. And it's, since it's hybrid, I'm going to be again here Ty is going to be there, and I think we're going to do, I think we're going to do some live stuff from that. Incredible, man! Incredible, what's going on here? This is Auto Transport Intel. This is your car should be business channel. We thank you so much for joining us. Here's what's going to happen. I got, I got a couple things I'm going to tell you, and then we're going to um, go into the information question super highway. Stick around. We're going to be right back. You must be exhausted worrying about delivering on the daily schedule, making sure everyone knows where to find the cars they need, knowing exactly where and when the cars need to go, and ensuring customers will get them on time. Vlog uses the most advanced technologies to ease your worries. It shows you where each and every car is and tracks their entire delivery process from start to finish. Vlog can also help optimize your logistics and processes. It can even notify you in real time of any vehicle exceptions. And the best part is, you can start immediately with no setup required. Vlog is a ready to use service available on the web and mobile phone. You can get started today at vlog.io. Are you completely stressed out from all the calls and the contracts and the verification of loads when nobody answers the phone? Call Murphy Auto Dispatch Services today. Murphy Auto Dispatch Services has over 15 years of experience in the transport industry. We are your office while you are on the road. We book, we verify, and we bill out your loads for you. We have an excellent accounting staff and an even better dispatch team. Give us a call today at 417-273. 0021. Or if you want to email me, it's Murphy Auto Transport 31 at yahoo.com. Give us a call today. What are you having trouble tracking? OEM, auction, dealer, carrier, rail, Roro, fleet. Vlog virtual logistics and tracking solutions help you manage your vehicles in real time. Visit vlog.io. Also, that is the voice of Sue. She runs a dispatch office. She's my co host on Thursdays on Dispatching Live. If you're looking for a dispatcher or you've got a broker in question, join us on Thursdays. Visit murphyautotransportservices.com. Now it is time 
here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hey uh, hey Ty and everyone stick around. We're gonna be a few more a few more minutes until our meeting. But where did you get that idea? Let's talk about it. Let's try to move this along. I, again, I look at the whole ecosystem. OEMs, auctions, dealers, shippers, carriers, services, brokers. Yes, you know it. And each one, when you're now, I'm not going to ask an automaker where you got that idea. Although, you know, DeLorean, right? People were asking him. And you know we're talking about carriers, services, brokers, and shippers. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on shippers. Although, I got to tell you. Based on the rate that you think you're going to move that car for, where did you get that idea? I'm not 100%. Uh, nonetheless, where did you get that idea? That idea, that is the show. Um, here we go. I got here. I get a lot of messages. Good evening. I want to introduce myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Words. Yes. Good. And thank you for sending them. Please keep doing it. But the idea is, there it is. There is the idea. Oh, Ron, dude. Wow. Ron is in the live panel. Ron is a huge fan of the show. Ron, thank you so much for your contribution. It really means a lot. I, I can't stress that enough. That's why it is important that I take the time uh, to, to, if I, man, if I miss a super chat, if I forget to call one out, I feel bad about it. I think about it, man. You know, at the end of the show, truth, I do. I, I, I sit back, I, I shut everything down, I do my Instagram, and then I sit outside and I'm like, man, that part, that part blew, that part blew. Wow, that whole show blew. But I appreciate your support nonetheless. I'm probably kidding about part of it or something. But I'm not kidding about the fact that I appreciate the support. Thank you so, so very much. Back to it. So where you get that idea, let me know. I want to know because we want to help. And if I can't help, I know somebody that can. I'm telling you, I really do. Uh, did you get that idea off YouTube? Where did you get that idea? Did you watch a video on YouTube about buckets of gold and piles of cash and fat stacks? Did you do that? Or do you listen to the cheerleaders? You hear all the cheerleaders out there? Nothing against sports cheerleaders. I'm talking about corporate cheerleaders. Are you listening to corporate cheerleaders? Why do you do that? What about the Kool-Aid drinkers? Huh? Do you, do you listen to the Kool-Aid drinkers? You're going you're gonna to start a business from a Kool-Aid drinker advice. Or you think you won the lottery. That's... Did you win the... Listen, if you won the lottery... Shoot, man. <laughs> Maybe I should run some ideas past you. Or did you get an idea because your wallet was empty? Is, was that the beginning of the idea? An empty wallet? Right, there it is. TikTok. You got your ideas. Getting your ideas from TikTok. I mean, yeah, maybe if you want to do some shrimp or some potatoes or some noodles, but not a business. Don't start a business from a TikTok idea. I, I mean, maybe. Was it from the classified ads? How about the guy at the cafe in the desert? Is that where you got your idea? Are you tired of the cubicle? Maybe just the thought of having to go back to the cubicle was enough to come up with a new idea. Or is it, do you have a horrible boss? Do you hate your boss? I mean, I'm saying, do you hate your boss? <laughs> Maybe that was what started your idea. Or, that truck is beautiful. That is the beginning of a great idea. And you love driving. You love driving. There's a beautiful truck. Here's the problem. This is what people think about, and you start to then you start to listen to other people, right? Your, here's what your friends think you do. Here's what the DOT thinks you do. Here's what society thinks you do. What your girlfriend thinks you do. What you think you do, but what you really do. And after a while, was it enough? Maybe it wasn't for you. So you go back to the drawing board. You gotta go back to the drawing board. Yikes. Because five easy steps wasn't true, was it? Easy peasy. Didn't work out. Lemon squeezy. Didn't happen. So then, all right, go back and get a look at this message. I like this message. 
but it, it, it definitely shows there's a lot more questions. Okay, wait, do I need a DOT number to be an auto transport dispatcher? I was booking loads for a driver, but that didn't work out. This business looks to be more specialized. Ah, can I answer all that in an email? I don't know. Hey, Jay, do you have a recommendation? Yes. Where'd you get that idea? Start with that. Where, did you hit a brick wall? Again? Or this, right? Is that you? We've all been there. It's all right. Or you just want to put a, a pickaxe through your head. That one's for Ty. <laughs> what is it, an ice pick in the skull? Are you lost in the jungle? Could be. But at least you realize it. And that is, do not stop. Pivot. Change. Make some changes, but don't stop right you already know that do you like working with your hands are you good at working with your hands right are, are these your hands and you're good at working with tools and and fixing stuff right we all know how important that can be in auto transport maybe are you good at selling and connecting and networking maybe Find out how to develop that skill. Have you been inspired by a book? That happens all the time. Music, movies, books. We get inspired. Did you have a near-death experience? Maybe that was where you got the idea. Or a lucid dream. Sometimes dreams, right? You wake up from a dream and you're like, I feel different. Okay. Okay. Or is it a family, right? You're working on a family. You want to build a business because you want to build a family. It's a family business. Or maybe you've been inspired by a religious awakening. It happens a lot. You found something different in nature. I got to tell you, a week ago, I'm in Durango that's actually where I got the idea for this show. Literally, I started putting it together right then and there. How about, are you familiar with this Maslow's hierarchy of needs? So at the bottom, you need food, water, then you need security, then you need relationships, then you need accomplishment, and then you need total self-actualization, zation, zation, zation. Whoa, boom. I see all those sevens, Candy. Thank you so very, very much. Am I, am I, am I, am I hitting the, am I hitting the buttons? Right? This is fun. I really like this topic. I liked putting it together because it's very interesting where we get ideas and inspiration. So here's something I talk about. Okay, so if you're in auto transport, and I look at myself this way, and whether you're a carrier, owner, operator, or you're a broker, or you're a dispatcher, listen, you are running a restaurant. And it is not, this is not an overnight success deal. No way, dude. You are represent. you are a whole department. Woo! From president all the way across the board, BPs, production, research, you got to do it all. You got to do it all. You know this. And so why, why would anybody still at this point think that there's some kind of easy peasy and I'm going to throw money at the camera and that's going to work? That makes no sense at all. Stop. It's a lot of education and learning. That's what the point behind this slide. Books, man. Because, dude, right, again, when I start, I want to reach my goals. We all know we get an idea and we, 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 we have something we want to pursue, but how in the world do we pursue it? Do you, can, you, can you get a briefcase? Can you get a briefcase and walk up to a law firm and say, I'm a lawyer? Does anybody do that? No, nobody does that. Get, does anybody go to a hospital room and you got scrubs on and your stethoscope and you're like, well, I'm a doctor. 
No! Nobody does that! Hey, what's up, Eric? What is going on, man? Thank you so much for tuning in and your contribution and support. This is fun. I think this is pretty fun. And I don't do a lot of conceptual shows. Most shows, you know, featuring a company product or service. But I started having conceptual thoughts and, uh, well, it gave birth to a conceptual show. I'm just going to keep going. Make phone calls. Verify your idea. Run it past somebody before you go drop 300 grand. Because where did you get that idea? Is it a good idea? It's the Car Shipping Business Channel, and that's what we're here for. We're here to help you think through some of those crazy ideas. And we really do appreciate it. We're so thankful that you're here with us tonight. I'll tell you what. Do me a favor. Stick around, because after this, we got Ty, and we're going to get into those ideas. Is your current vehicle imaging process producing inconsistent images, frustrating, time-consuming, at the mercy of another vendor's schedule? Well, it doesn't have to be. Black Widow Imaging provides a simple system to capture high-quality images of your vehicles in seconds. Simply align the driver's side tire with the floor stripe. Stop on the floor plate to scan your vehicle code and capture the exterior images. It's that easy. It's also equipped with an interactive 360 degree interior camera option so your customers don't miss any details. The results are fast, consistent 4K images that are delivered to your website in minutes. Let us show you how easy your imaging process can be anywhere in the global supply chain. Visit blackwidowimaging.com to schedule a live demo. Black Widow Imaging provides high-resolution 4K images fast for OEMs, auctions, dealers, and carriers, and brokers, rail, port, fleet. Find out more. Schedule a live demo. Go to blackwidowimaging.com. Uh, we are now at the time where, uh, okay, we're only 10 minutes late. That's not bad because we've done a lot so far. Thank you so much for jumping into the live chat, and um, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I, I did as well, and um, it's fun to do. It's fun to think through. Really, as I put the started to put it all together, I'm like, man, there's really a lot of places we get ideas. And so um, as I start to bring in, I'm going to bring in Ty, and then we're going to keep bringing folks in. If you hear the doorbell ringing, uh, that's good news. That means the party is continuing. So here we go with Ty. Ty, can you see me and hear me okay? Yeah, I can. Can you see what my name says on the bottom? Uh, well, it's got Lisa's name. You got Lisa's name on the camera, but I got your name in titles underneath. So, so we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. It's well, really, really small. I don't so know I got, where that it says idea Ty. came from. What's that? Well, the, I don't know where that. <laughs> yeah, who knows? All right. Well, that's okay. Well, listen. On the screen, it says Ty and Jay. In fact, you know what I can do? Uh, bang! It now says Cars on the Move. Above Ty and Jay. It's just like it's Friday. Oh. Where did you get that idea? Well, I'm excited about where to get that idea because, uh, as you know, because of the show that you built from your big idea, you know, where did you get your big idea to build this show? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <clears throat> so because of your big idea to build this show, I get to talk to everybody that has a question, which I absolutely love, by the way. And the beautiful part about it is, is that's what we're here for. So when people call me, I had a call today, Jose Miller. Uh, Jose has a nine car stinger. He's an owner operator. He's currently leased onto a, a reputable company. He wants to go get his own authority and start his own business. So he calls, he sees YouTube, he calls, signs up for the ATI Insider. He gets to talk to Ty for 20 minutes. We get to talk and I get to learn a little bit about him. At the end of the conversation, I said, I'm not sure that that's a good idea for you. And here's why. Up, 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 up. You know what he said? You're absolutely right. Thank you. I think I'll just stay where I'm at and keep stashing money in the bank. That's right? incredible. <clears throat> yeah. So, the, in, in, I'm not saying I'm right. The, he can call 15 other guys and he can get 15 other opinions based on what I know about the business and based on what he told me about himself, his family, his situation, his finances. 
it makes sense to me to stay where you're at and continue doing what you're doing, especially if you're making the kind of money you say you're making and keep saving money. So point being, <clears throat> the big idea came from Jay. Jay came up with the big idea to do this ATI, Auto Transport Intel. So when Jay decided to do that, people start paying attention, people start watching. You know, as I, as your as your as the show starts, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, is this really a car hauling show? I don't think I heard you talk too much about car hauling. And people that might be tuning in that don't understand what we're really doing, when Jay starts talking about the whole ecosystem, we're definitely a huge part of it. And that's what this show's about, is to try to educate everybody. Here's a big idea for you. Where are you going to make money? How are you going to make money? Right? That's something to consider. And there's different options, how we do that. So I'm pretty excited about tonight. Uh, and I'm really excited. There's a couple people on here that I'm really excited to talk to as well. So thanks for having me. Uh, also looking forward to the IARA. Man, August. whoa. That's, yeah, that's exciting. Whoa. That's huge. I know, that is. Yeah, so no, is it, the Detroit, too. Uh, and, and with that, and as you know, well know, because so I like to. One of the things that we have a lot of conversations in the background. Sometimes we don't talk, and then we do, and then. But anyways, a lot of this stuff is happening really fast. It's the only way to actually manage it is just to embrace it and keep adding on and just right keep because really what's weird. Okay, so Auto Transport Intel is four years old, and yet some of the some of the 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 big stuff is really pretty recent. Um, like any other, right? That's kind of that curve. That first year, gosh, I don't know how much actually I, although I went live on Tuesday nights, but not not a whole lot of traction. Yeah, so um, I know it's maybe not the best subject and maybe you can just pass the question, but you know, where did you come up with the idea to start this program? i tell you what, I, I, love, I love the question and I'll take it. Thank you so much. Here's the answer is that um, I'm a media guy, and so when I look at, like, are you good with your hands, or what are you good with, I'm, I'm pretty good with media. But I'm, I'm also kind of like a uh, one-man band. I'm not, like, super technical on camera, and I'm not a lighting genius. What I am is I'm kind of an all-hands-on-deck producer kind of idea guy. And so running with that, coming out of Dispatch, I've pivoted, and you know this about this show. How many times has this show pivoted? Every week, I continue to pivot. Yeah, exactly. And that, but that's how you stay nimble and and really roll with it, um, yeah. which I think is what keeps on surprising some folks. Is they pivoted again over there? Oh my goodness! And we're just going to keep on pivoting because that's how you navigate the river. Yeah, that's good. So you you came out of this from maybe some disappointment, frustration, banging your head against the brick wall. Uh, I don't know, but however you came up with it, you one day probably decided, I think this is a good idea, right? Well, and that's it. So the thing about me is that uh, I know that, you know, well, here's, here's one for you. Here's the secret. Back in, it was uh, late 90s, I started making video of dumb stuff like making coffee. I had to move a couch out to the curb to sell it. So I made a video where I moved a couch to sell it. And I remember a friend of mine was like, why would anybody want to watch that stuff? What is the internet full of today? People making coffee and moving couches to sell. I mean, it's amazing. So I knew that, I already knew that. I did, was doing that 20 years ago. My point is, is that I believe that content is life and life is content. I like it. That's why I always go live. How often do we do something on tape and edit it and throw it? No, we go live because life is content and content is life. Yeah, <clears throat> it's yeah, good. Man. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, really good. Thank you for asking me those questions. I didn't know I was going to get interviewed tonight. Well, that Both. see, this is why I'm excited because we're going to do interview and then we're going to do interview and then that guy's going to interview that guy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. You guys didn't know you signed up for interviews today. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Eddie's going to be like, what am I doing? Okay, well, yeah. here we go. Let's bring in Tim. Um, and Tim's coming in. So, Mike, go ahead and join the waiting room. And uh, Eddie's already in the waiting room. And here's Tim. Tim <laughs> Scatalus Max Digital 
Tim, can you see us and hear us okay? I can. Can you guys hear me? We can hear you. We can see you, man. How did I get so lucky to be invited to your 200th show? Jay. Amazing, right? Thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I really, I had to hit 200 eventually. Tim, you'll hit 200 eventually too. Oh, jeez. Right? I know. It seems I don't know like if a I've done 200 away. of anything, Jay. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you, you, you know, what? Okay, here we go. Here's a great, I love this. Tim, what would you consider of the things that you do, that you're good at, the ideas you have, what would be one of your larger milestones within what you do so we uh we ran a campaign a couple of years ago for dealers when um this is before grosses were what they are now this is way back when we saw um plenty of inventory plenty of competition it was this race to the bottom and internet price was a brand new thing guys would put their internet cars out on the internet like for here and dealers would negotiate to here so we put a campaign together called stop the drop and I literally had an entire room of car dealers chanting, stop the drop. That was one of the biggest, that was just like an idea we had. I mean, we got to get dealers to stop the drop. I'm like, so we had a whole hashtag. We had t-shirts. We had cups. We had, that was my biggest idea. I'm nothing like you, Jay, but thank you for asking. <laughs> Dude, stop the drop. Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. And Wait, in fact, but it doesn't have, like in today's market, stop the. Well, so I actually right, think, stop up. I think this the campaign will come back. It don't worry, you know. Legit, t- Ty's there shaking his head. Good to see you, Ty. Um, you. Listen, I got questions for you too, bro. Yeah, I, hey, I've been busy. You know? <laughs> I know that's why I got a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there certainly will be a uh, in the not too near future. And I heard, this is crazy, I heard a dealer today got yelled at for $3,500 front-end grosses. His boss said, man, you need to do better. I said, bro, just, just, if you're getting yelled at for doing $3,500 front-end, I said, tell you what, tell your boss, you did $3,500 twice, while that guy only did $8,000 once. You sold two cars. So stop the drop will come back, I think, eventually, sometime. I, I almost want a sidebar and, and find out more about that, but I know we, we're gonna be keep we're gonna keep moving along. Okay. Uh because here in fact, I don't even understand half of what you just said, Tim. Uh oh. Right? Thirty five hundred grosses. Need... I was just yeah. the was this the amount of money made on that car? Yeah, so gross? right. Yeah. So yeah. dealer front end grosses are through the roof right now. And when we're talking six seven eight thousand dollars and at some stores and um you know the market's starting to come back just a little bit and guys are getting some aged inventory their their ice is melting maybe we could talk about that on friday a little bit more right teaser okay but um you know yeah so but so stop the start that i think stop the drop will come back eventually we're going to need to sell truth transparency we're going to need to build value it doesn't matter what you sell, whether you're selling golf balls or houses, right? We need to sell value. It's good. That's right. For sure. That'll be, that's Friday on MBOI, Melting Block of Ice. That's how I abbreviate it. Uh, All right, so how are you guys doing, man? Dude. It looks well, like you had a great I, time I, on I your know vacation. We, I know we to get going, going, but I really got to find out yeah. the ACV deal. What? I really got to find out about ACV. What's ACV? Online. <laughs> <laughs> you almost had me, dude. <laughs> yeah, so um, it was two weeks ago yesterday. We were acquired by um, ACV Auctions. Um, not going to lie, it was a complete surprise to me. I was not on the inside on this one. Um, but, man, I am ecstatic about um, the team at ACV Auctions. We've had a ton of meetings in the two weeks that we've been on. Um, the idea box is overflowing on ways that we can um, work together, um, bring our you know, product with dealer inventory management, appraisal pricing, selling value, and then all of the things that ACV does around um, online auctions and their inspection tools, um, 
true frame. I mean, it's this is this is a big deal. This is awesome. We're really excited. Yeah, that's it. Really, is a big deal. When I saw that, I was like, I can't wait to talk to Tim because that's huge, and we yeah. can talk some more about it Friday too. But I just wanted to kind of get the the basic idea of what what went down. So now, ACV owns Max Digital. Right, one hundred percent. Yep, they, and they and they, listen, man. What a great team um, at ACV, George and Mike. Um, they took one hundred percent of the of the team, um, and we are going to operate as Max Digital. Okay, we are not. You know, right. I'm still doing my job. We've just got uh, more energy, more resources. Um, they're going to double what they paid for the company into the company. Um, almost, and just blow this thing up. So super excited. Wow. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, thanks. Yeah. I'm excited for you. And they are great people. And hopefully when I'm at the IARA, I'm going to meet George, maybe even get to do a quick interview with him. So, uh, well, tell you what, ding me on the side, I'll set you up. I got his contact yeah, info. You got the inside track. That'd be yeah, I mean, You guys just saw business live right mm -hmm. there. Right, there you go. And, and, you know, we um, I know that ACV has a whole um, transport portion of the tool. I'm not listen, I'm not I, the only thing right now I got. I got a uh, I got a hat, a coffee mug and I got this folder. That's this. This is all I got so far. But what I do know <laughs> is that they have, um, you know, some really uh, cool transport uh, integration. And I know that they're expanding on that. So, you know, Jay, you know, you call this channel auto transport Intel. I really think it is auto, you know, transport, transportation, Intel. I mean, it's, it's everything. You cover wow. the gamut. So wow. thank good you. Job. Well, we've had ACV on the show and um, yeah, I got uh, high hopes that we will bring them back at some point. And so, yeah, this is, this is amazing. So, yeah. and what I was thinking is, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to watch this. He doesn't even know. I'm going to bring in Mike. I'm going to give, I'll just give him a, Mike, here we go. Camera one. Mike, you're coming on here and button clicked. So Mike is coming in the room and we're going to keep on adding to the party. And, um, uh, oh, and we're in the live chat. Some great back and forth going on. Thank you, Super Dispatch. Thank you, Sky Hallman. And thank you, Mike Buchanan. Can you see us and hear us okay? I see you and hear you loud and clear. What about me, guys? We see You're good. you. We hear you. Wow. Here Mike, we are. man, it's so good to see you. I love your updates, by the way. I appreciate it. Uh, just like Jay, I've been enjoying the uh, Colorado weather as much as I can and uh, unfortunately slipping a little bit on those weekly updates. Uh, I've had to regurgitate some of the uh, important ones. So I hope you guys don't mind. No. That's great. Well, I tell you what, truth, I'm I'm getting buried on content already. Just being out for a week, yeah, I'm totally buried. See, I'm in you said you sound real re recharged, I'm Jay. I'm taking on water. I feel great. Thank great. you. I feel you, great. You know. <clears throat> so, Mike, what are you seeing? What's your big idea? Where did you get that idea? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, obviously, uh, unbelievable opportunity to talk through, and, and I love the topic. And before we get started, uh, another congratulations on 200 consecutive show. That's, that's a heck of a milestone. Thank you very uh, much. So, you know, Ty, as you mentioned, one of the things that I actually wrote down, because it was funny, my notes consisted of one thing. And it was a music lyric that I heard a long time ago, and I have no idea what song it's from uh but jay-z said it in one of his songs you're a businessman not a businessman so i always stuck that in the back of my head because i i've never been a small business owner i work for my wife she created a business and, and just did some freelance on the side but even working for people i understood that you know what my brand is a business and i need to go out there day in and day out and make sure that hey i create and I talk what I'm going to do and provide that to those that need it. And as that evolved, obviously, I've learned a lot of different things along the way. Mm. Yeah. Well, and that's great, too. To, it's, to me, when I hear what you just said, I hear ownership, right? Absolutely. And you're taking ownership of the position you've been given 
right? So the idea, in my opinion, is to perform at the best level you can to promote what you're doing, right? And life is content, content is life. Mike, you're not asking per for permission within your own realm. You're taking it by the reins, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things that obviously that got me connected to Auto Transport Intel was just putting myself out there. Uh, it, it's been something that I've been comfortable doing. And before it used to be through a shake of a hand, uh, travel multiple days a week, uh, multiple weeks per month. And Tim, you know all about this and just being able to, to connect with people. Unfortunately, because of coronavirus, we couldn't do that. And I decided just take a leap of faith. I have the technology and I started creating my own content. Not, not moving couches, uh, but talking about what I know, uh, which is, hey, the, the wholesale industry and, and vehicles itself. And that, that's, that's uh, I feel confident in doing it. And I wanna make sure I, I deliver it in a very simple and, and concise manner. You know, and that's a good point because who knows about the J Moving Couches show? You know why? Wasn't a good idea. But <laughs> it wasn't it was an idea that I acted upon. I just needed to come up with a better idea. You know, I was talking to Sue today. Um, she can't be with us here tonight. Again, the internet thing. But I was talking to her about we're talking about brokering. How hard is it to to execute the idea of I'm going to be a broker. I'm going to go ahead and compete in this nationwide if not global marketplace i'm going to buy a lead that 10 other people have and i'm going to be the best and i just started what now it's not that it can't work but it's such a slim shot that you where'd you get that idea hey yeah, I mean... i'm gonna interrupt i'm gonna tim's over here chomping at the bit so we, we're gonna try to do this the right way tim you're up next for the interview go ahead no, well, I was just going to say, listen, I think the um, mo what I've learned over my tenure is that the people who have great ideas and are not afraid to fail are the ones that succeed. And Jay, you're right, mm -hmm. man. Moving couches is a bad idea on, on YouTube. But you, <laughs> you know what? You learned, right? And maybe you made three other shows. And I, whoever it was, that, that's what I've learned um, is it's okay to fail. You're going to fail. You know, you, hopefully you only fail 99 times and you succeed at one or two times and that's all you need to do. So. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's, there's some, there's some value here too. Okay. You two guys actually work for a company and Mike, you, you kind of nailed it there. You know, it's like, okay, well you're, you've never owned your own company. What? No, 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 no. What we're saying is, is, is it, <clears throat> If you, if you work for a company that does it right, and I think these two companies do it right, which is you foster the environment to you go be creative. You know what you're supposed to do. You run with it. If it doesn't work out quite right, we'll sit down and we'll have a talk about it. But I mm -hmm. want you to go and do a great job. And I, I think, I, again, I've never worked for either ARI. ARI, huge company, Max Digital, big company. I don't know, but I'm guessing by the looks on these two guys' faces, that there's some truth there. Is that right? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll answer real quick, Ty. Yeah, I've um, been very lucky. The, the pandemic obviously gave us this um, platform, and um, they've let me go. I check in. I say, you know, this is what I'm doing. And it, I'm at the point now where they trust me, and they're doing a whole bunch of other stuff, mm -hmm. like, you know, working with ACV. Um, and, and I just want to make this grow because one thing I've learned from you, Jay, man, you just, and, and you Ty, you just got to talk to each other. We got to be communicating and, um, learn from each other's mistakes and, and, and build to, uh, you know, succeed by just trying. So, and you know, I, and I, I, I'm sure you guys agree with that. I'm when it comes to content and I'm a tough critic, you know, yeah. Um, I'm, I have a good time. I love doing this, but sometimes I literally am watching my show back like this, yeah. and I'm like, man, I could barely, I could barely watch this, or whatever it is. But, but sometimes that tough criticism, you know, it's required. Mm. It's amazing how complicated this formula is. 
Yeah. So I was going to add what, what Tim said about failure. Um, I know there was that old cliche about failing up and, and successful people were, were failing and they still got promoted. And I never understood that as, as a, a younger adult, just saying, why should they get that opportunity? Well, now I look at it the opposite way. The more you fail, more people recognize what you're trying to accomplish. And like Tim said, you can fail those 99 times, but that one time that you don't, that's what's getting you that business. That's what's getting you that promotion. And like Ty mentioned, having the opportunity to work for an organization like ARI to, to, to be able to let go. And, and, you know, real quick, I was the first one that had the position that I was hired for that actually didn't have fleet management experience. They said we wanted someone outside of the fleet world, someone that wasn't dealing with fleets on a day to day basis. We want somebody that just knows we're marketing. And I was lucky enough to get that tap on the shoulder. And they said, hey, this is your territory. We just want you to grow as an individual, grow with our organization. And because of that, over my shoulder, I even had the ability to get recognition and, and became class of 2019 for 40 under 40 in auto remarketing. So a bunch of stuff that just because of ARI, I was able to accomplish. That's awesome. I didn't that know is, that. That's that, really cool. <laughs> that is. That's powerful. That's a good. And so here's what. Here's a perfect time. We're now going to bring in. So Eddie, Ty, Eddie's. I just hit the button. Eddie's going to be joining. Ty, who's Eddie Ingram of 5-4 Transport? <clears throat> I'm glad you asked because Eddie is what I call a lurker. Eddie's been lurking. I found this out. Eddie, Eddie finally signed up. Talk to Eddie. I'll let him get in here in a minute. But um, I, Eddie has been watching. And Jay and I always have these, not always, but occasionally we have these conversations. Who watches this show? <laughs> 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 and uh, we think there's always people watching that we don't know about. Well, it turns out Eddie was a lurker. Eddie's been watching for a while. Eddie's actually up here in Kansas City where I'm at. <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to shake his hand yet. But did pass him on the highway today <laughs> and uh reached out to him so anyway eddie are you in here can you hear us okay so he's in the process of joining now eddie i think eddie can hear us eddie check your camera down below at the bottom uh of the screen are menu items for camera start you can start video start microphone um and that's what it, it's always because it's eddie ty help me fill in the blanks eddie is a carrier right yeah and uh, eddie found us you know just on youtube probably just like everybody else trying to figure this business out <clears throat> um the part about eddie that i really like and i hope he can talk more about it is how he actually used this platform the way it's intended to be used and what i mean by that is He's somewhat new in the business, trying to figure it out. And he ends up watching, remember when we had uh, Women in Transport with Julie? Great oh, yeah. Show. That was an amazing show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, here well, he, he comes. Ends up, hey, there's there Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Eddie, can you see us and hear us? He's still connecting his audio. Okay. So he's watching Women in Auto Transport and... Anyway, he ends up getting in touch with Julie. Okay, we don't know that he's watching. We don't know that he's paying attention. We don't know anything. But he ends up getting a hold of Julie. They end up doing some business together. And it turned unless something's changed recently. Eddie, can you hear us? Still connecting audio. So again, at the bottom yeah. of the screen. So I see your microphone is muted, Eddie. And I, I just clicked. I asked him to unmute. Um, his camera went away as well. He's still clicking buttons. That's how it goes. That's the way we roll. So anyway, so he was working with Julie. Yeah, he's he's doing some work with Julie. He's exploring some of the things that he hears on the show. Uh, so yeah, owner operator, new business, somewhat new. I could be wrong, but he's got even more cool stuff to talk about. Eddie. Eddie. Okay, I think he's almost here. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, all can, right. Can you hear me? Yes. We see you. We hear you. What's up, Eddie? Please say hello. I know we just threw you in. Spotlight, drum roll at all. But you're you're here. Please say hello to the live audience and tell us a little bit more about you. Hello. Um, so I started, my wife and I started 5-4 Transport about four and a half months ago now. Um, it's been, I guess, up and down. 
for us. Um, we've I've watched your show for months prior to us starting. We learned a lot. I mean, learned so much. I can't thank you and Ty, um, Sue. I even I mean, Sue's helped me. Don't even realize she's helped us. Um, but we have reached out and talked with Sue. Um, learned a lot. Your guys' show is great. Uh, I I can't imagine how many people that you guys uh, that are watching, you don't even realize they're watching. Um, but so my family, my father, my brother, my cousins, my mother, everyone is in this business. It, 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 I mean, there's, I've got a cousin that drives for Cooper. My brother was with Cassins. He went to Cooper kind of followed the freight. Um, my mother was with Cooper. My father's with TLC. So this has been around me forever, I guess. Um, my father, when I was young, he ran Sheridan Transportation Service, which was off Speaker Road. It was a railhead, um, 50 person speaker. I'm not sure who's there now, but that's pretty much where I learned to drive cars when I was probably 12, 13 years old, loading Ford trucks on the rail cars. And then it got to where we were unloading um more than loading out and um i remember as a kid allied would come over and they'd deliver them trucks to us and i'd watch them unload and i'm just like man that was you know impressive um always interested in it um but so i i, I don't know it's something that i i really like i've got a i guess a passion for it i really really enjoy it um I have a, uh, another cousin who is a manager at Car Transport. Um, I drove for Car Transport for a while, drove a 10-car Boydston. Um, with me doing that, my wife and I also had started a business 10 years ago. So we own a trailer repair business here in Kansas City. Um, and it's doing great. It's a good business. Um, but I really enjoy the the car hauling. Right. So, uh, four months into this five, four transport, you all, you own, before you started this business, he owns a trailer repair, trailer, semi trailers, 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 right? He owns right. trailer repair company, 10 years successful. He's got car hauling blood in him. And somewhere along the way, he, Eddie, you come up with this great idea to go buy a truck and a trailer and do your own thing. So how did that happen? You got sick of trailers or what? Um, no. So like I say, we still have our business. We're still currently in the trailer repair business. Um, I talk with my brother, you know, all the time. And my brother, like I say, he's, he's kind of moved around from company to company, following the freight around. Um, but I, it's just something I can't get away from. Like, I, I truly love it. However, um, I, I did, um, I don't want to say the... The worst thing a guy can do, I guess. But really, I, uh, I I bought a dually truck. I went out and bought a new Dodge Ram dually. I bought a wedge trailer um, because it seemed simple. And what I have learned is, I mean, it's it's cheaper, I guess. It's a cheaper way to get started, but it's not the best. Um, it was tough. It still is tough, probably. And I can completely, what, five months ago, six months ago, I would have said, no, you know, I, I hear all the time, like, if guys last it, last three months, they're doing really well. Well, I would have said, you know, six months ago, like, no, it, it's, you know, it's just the week or, you know, something. But realistically, um, my wife and I have had several conversations in my four and a half months of being in business about me quitting this and just going back 100% with my trailer repair business because it's, it is tough. It's a, it, it's a very tough way to make a living, in, in my opinion. What helps me is I do have a successful business, um, so it it affords me to do this, um, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah. I, I definitely, if I could do it over, I definitely would um, do things differently. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give Tim a chance to give you a couple questions. I'm going to give Mike a chance to ask you a couple questions. So yeah, hey, we're doing so hey. Eddie, nice, nice to meet you, man. Great story. What kind of car hauling do you do? So I'm a car dealer. Like, uh, you, you know, are you, you uh, running cars from the auction, cars between dealerships? I mean, how does a so, guy get a hold of you? 
So I actually, I, um, again, from ATI, great show. I, my first phone call that I made was to Julie with Nationwide. Um, and, and I, one of them things I watched, you know, ATI, I've taken a lot in from that. And I, you know, I, I used it to my advantage. Um, I owe ATI a lot, um, from what I've taken from their show, but I, I just figured if it, you know, like they had Julie on their show a couple times, I watched, I listened to her. She seemed like a, a great person. Um, and now the, I've worked with her for four and a half months. I've, she is a great person. Julie is an awesome person. Um, but so I got hooked up with her and really like my first month, I didn't want to like, I mean, it was like, she was my mother. Um, like I wouldn't leave her, you know, I just like, I only wanted to work for her and nobody else. Since then I have, obviously I have to do other things. And, um, I, I mean, so I'm, I'm strictly just working off the load boards right now. Um, that's pretty much what I'm, I'm doing. And it's, it's, uh, for me, so somebody may be able to make it work for me. It's not the best way. I'm sure of it. Um, I have, again, um, I have had dealers talk to me when I've delivered, you know, to some dealers and they would, um, ask me for my phone number if I had a card and I have had a dealer reach out to me. Um, actually a couple now, you know, um, that like the way I, I conducted business or I, you know, I conducted myself there on their property or I, you know, how I handle things. Um, so I have, I have personally, but mainly I just, I, I just work directly off the load boards. Yeah. So one last, one last thing. Um, I would tell you that this, uh, and Ty, if he hasn't told you this one day yet, he will soon. This business is all about relationships. I and mean, I know we're, we're here online and talking over the computer, but Man, when a guy sees it, I, you got a great story, man. You know, you show up to my lot on time with the cars in one piece and a nice bill of lading, and you laid them right there, and you got the keys, and, you, and you're polite. Hey, man, are you close? Are you how are you hauling cars locally? I'd love to know because, you know, if I'm a dealer and I got to pay a load board fee, you know, I, I, if I can talk to a local guy, if you're in Kansas City, I, I got contacts in Kansas City, you know. I'm sure there's plenty of guys who'd like to know a guy like you that hauls cars. So good, good luck to you. I second that, and that is that one of the things that I see, and I LinkedIn has really made me see this, is that every time you put a name with a face, and then you connect with that name with a face, and then you get a chance to do a little bit of business with that name and that face, it's a game changer to your outlook. Yeah, totally. All right, Mike, you're up. Perfect. Well, to be honest, uh, the, the question I had was obviously, how do you, how are you getting business? But there's another thing I wanted to make a comment on. I just want to say, Eddie, you, you're very fortunate to be in an industry of something that you enjoy. And I know um, th this was said earlier by Jay, are you doing the business to make money? And obviously every business and every job at the end of the day, you want to make money. Um, but I've always had the same philosophy that you have is, do what you enjoy and you will figure out how to make money. And I was very fortunate. My, my grandfather, very successful accountant, he used to joke with all the grandkids, who's going to be an accountant? I don't know math. I, that not happening. But his motivation was to make sure that all the grandkids were doing things that we enjoyed doing. And he motivated us to continue that. And I knew at a young age, I needed to do something with cars. I started in a pit, so I wasn't driving cars uh, at 14, 15 years old, but I was changing oil because nobody could tell how old I was in those pits. And I moved up through mechanics. I moved up through dealerships. I moved up through auctions and, and I found my path. And, and I'm so happy that you know what you enjoy and you have the passion to keep, continue moving forward. So uh, I'm so happy for you. Which is, uh, you know, I love it you said, Mike, because I think one of the things that uh, that's why successful people are happy to help others try and find their path. Because if everybody was more on their path, well, I don't know how to end that sentence. Whoa. <laughs> There's a quote in there somewhere, Jay. Just, <laughs> but, you know. Wow. That's good. Well, Eddie, Eddie is... Uh, <clears throat> He's, he's been around us for a little while, 
I don't know, really appreciate him coming on and sharing his story. And again, if you guys are kind of paying attention to what Eddie's saying, he's kind of saying the same thing you hear me say on Friday, which is there's really not a lot of things that are easy about this business. And really, Mike just nailed it on top of Eddie, which is what I really believe to be 100% true. In this business, you have to have a servant heart, period. I mean, as a car hauler, if, if you really don't enjoy serving people, good luck. Right. And the, and the and I've heard Eddie, we've talked on the phone and I've heard Eddie talk about <clears throat> the pleasure, the joy that he find just getting in the truck, finding the car, putting the car on, strapping it down, putting the ramps up. I mean, just that alone. And I, and I totally get that. You guys don't ever hear me talk about how I love to haul cars. I'm talking more about the business, but there's so much that keeps you busy in your head, keeps you busy in your feet. You're constantly moving. You're always doing something. So Eddie, thanks again for being a lurker, and thanks for coming out of the shadows. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, and that is that is no doubt. Thank you for yeah. Thanks for being a lurker, and thanks for coming out of the shadows. Both <laughs> of those things. If he's not an inspiration, Jay, for you to do two hundred more shows, <laughs> I don't know what is. No <laughs> doubt. I mean, no doubt. That right? Is a, it is, it's yeah. absolutely well said. Thank you so much. Um, camera one, I just want to say this. I'm admitting, okay, so Ron, and then I also sent the invite out to Candy and Lawrence. So this party's going to grow a little more. We're in our final quarter of Tuesday Night's Live on our 200th show. I know, and I, it occurred to me earlier, I'm like, man, I don't have any confetti or a pinata or nothing. I, I just got a stinking graphic that said I tried to make you a sign real quick here, but I, <laughs> Why didn't you I post have. it on LinkedIn, dude? I, totally. I, sw I swear I didn't Come even on. know. Here's here. This is what I think is kind of cool. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you get so busy, you don't even realize you just hit a milestone. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly wasn't even thinking about it. That's great. I know. Ron, where are you at? Kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, Ron is here somewhere. Come on, Ron. And he, he doesn't have his camera on. He may not have his microphone on. You up well, in here, driver? I'm going to give a little background about Ron. And yeah. One of the reasons I'm excited to have Ron. Ron's uh, a core member. And uh, Ron's up in the Northeast, I believe New York. Uh, Ron is incredibly intelligent. I love to talk to him. And uh, what Ron does in his business is really cool. So uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, Ron is here somewhere. Okay. So Lawrence is here. Go ahead and hit that uh, mute on the YouTube stream, Lawrence. I didn't even give him a, I just brought him right in. So Ron is tuning in. Lawrence is uh, queuing up the Wi Fi. And Candy, let that sink in. Queuing up the Wi Fi. Okay. Let me tell you about yeah. Lawrence real quick while we're yes. waiting on Ron. So Lawrence, I like Lawrence a lot. Uh, Lawrence drives for Jack Cooper. Lawrence hauls the new Corvettes for Jack Cooper to the dealership. Lawrence trains Jack Cooper drivers on how to load 10, 11, even up to 13, not too many 13s anymore, Corvettes on one truck and trailer and take them safely to the dealer. So Lawrence has been doing this, I think, 15 years driving. And Lawrence has a big idea. So excited about him and then when candy shows up candy's our port connection down in florida so candy knows all the ins and outs of the port and we're excited to hear about it. she's got tons of ideas where'd you get that idea exactly and that is the thing exactly ron is here from the beginning of the idea and he does his he does things his own way yeah we'll see if we can get him to talk it's like trying to capture wildlife yeah. Um, then, uh, yeah, Lawrence, here's Lawrence coming in now. Lawrence is, I, I we were doing that one show, I think it was a round table and Lawrence was talking about how he had an idea of getting the, Eddie, um, Eddie, I can never Eddie, think Eddie, of those three wheelers. Um, slingshot. slingshot. Thank you. How did he get the slingshots different? Cause he, 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 he has a slingshot. He has a slingshot business. Like so he, somebody hit mute. Wow. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I yo, think I've got uh and now Lawrence uh -oh. is okay, so I'm number. gonna have to I'm gonna have to mute somebody. Let's see. I'm gonna mute an idea. There it is. I muted Lawrence. 
I did it. Um, but he's still here. I didn't kick him. I just muted him. Um, <laughs> you better shut that mute on. I know, right? <laughs> but anyways, it's, we're live. Where'd you get that idea to mute somebody? <laughs> I, I, I have... Over to, over the course of 200 shows, <laughs> I've learned of these little buttons here and there. Yeah, you've heard and, the echo 200 times. Yeah. Oh, believe me. So <laughs> We'll go back to Eddie since Eddie's just sitting here doing nothing. Eddie, yeah, so Eddie. You're, you're hauling off the load board right now, right? Yes, so sir. why don't we meet on Thursday at the auction, if you got time, and I'll just walk you around the auction real quick and talk to introduce you to some local guys I know. Maybe we could drum up something for you there if you're cool with that. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds great. Okay, call me Thursday. Will do. All right. We'll meet over there at the KCI America's Auto Auction. Don't tell anybody. Perfect. I'm live. <laughs> and then Candy, and then Candy. Hey, there's a Oh, my gosh. Candy, if you tell Candy an idea, she will Ooh. straight up tell you whether it's good or not. Yeah. Great. Right. <laughs> yeah. Gave you a bunch of time. Hey, Lawrence, can you hear us? There's Lawrence. Okay. He's here. Uh, I asked him to unmute. Well, do. And yeah, you can hey, hear us, Lawrence. ACI America's Auto Auction. Now, Lawrence, you, I think you have the YouTube stream oh. on either in a different window or on a different device, and we're hearing it. Oh, Andy, so you got to yeah. stop yeah. that stream. I'll tell yeah. you yeah, whether. Turn it off there. Perfect. Great. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Gave you a bunch of time. Hey, Lawrence, can you hear us? I can hear you good. There's Lawrence. Okay. He's here. I can hear you. Uh, still watching it. To unmute. Well, and dude. yeah, you can hey, hear us, Lawrence. I can hear you. America's Auto Watch. Now, Lawrence, you the YouTube stream on either in a different window or on a different device. And you are watching Auto Transport Intel <laughs> on Tuesday nights live, and we do appreciate you joining us. Auto Transport Intel Tuesday nights live episode two hundred, take two. There's Lawrence. Okay. No, nope, we're still going. Where's the, anyways, orange, we'll get where's the orange drink? Mute. <laughs> okay, cue up the green punch. And... Oh, and I didn't get a sip of it tonight. Mm. Well, whose idea was this? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to mute Lawrence. Mute, I'm, here's what I'm going to do. Tonight's Lawrence, live. I'm going to mute... I, I muted Lawrence. Lawrence, so if you can hear me, because we want you to join us, but we're hearing the YouTube stream in the background, which has a delay. So you have to stop the YouTube stream so you can join the Zoom meeting, which are two separate events. Oh, and I didn't get a sip of it tonight. And there he is again. He broke through my mute. Um, and then now Candy, <laughs> these things, that's, that's a live show. Welcome <laughs> to episode 200. Um, Candy is, let's see if we can unmute Candy. I don't think I, I don't think I can unmute her. She's oh no, she's Candy. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. How is everybody? All right. How's it going? Hey, Candy. Mm -hmm. Hello. How are you doing? Evening. Candy, you're in Florida, right? Yeah, I'm in Jacksonville. At a port. I just got on my phone because my um, I don't know what's going on with the internet. Well, that's yeah, what, that's what Ron said. And hop on the phone. <laughs> yeah, Ron can't get on either. So, take it away, Ty. You're interviewing Candy. I go next. Then Tim. Oh my God, Ty. Oh, then Eddie. Am I interviewing me? Ron. So I'm only going <laughs> to ask maybe one question, okay? And then I'm going to hand it off to somebody else. You better be ready, Candy. Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Candy. Candy. Uh, <clears throat> Candy has an incredible background story. Candy is entrepreneur from probably the time she was born. Candy uh, has done literally. Everything, literally. Candy, have you driven a semi? Oh, all day, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Truck driving paved the way and paid the way. That's right. Candy, Candy has dot coms. Candy has trucking experience. Candy has port experience. Candy probably speaks twelve languages that we don't even know about, <laughs> and she does a lot. So, Candy, I'm going to ask you the first question. At what point? What is one of the? Where did you get that idea? What, let's bring it to maybe to how you are now as far as the port. You you have your own business at the port, right? Yeah, our business is Seaport Service or Jack's Port Storage. We are a terminal service. Uh, we just fix problems for everybody, freight porters, exporters, drivers, fix grandmamas. Problems. Yeah. Cards come to you. 
from all over the United States? From anywhere. If a freight, if you're buying it, if you're a dealer, let's say you're an internet car salesman and you sold a, you sold a Ford Mustang to go to Germany and you, the customer, he don't know much except for he want that car. You the dealer, you want to sell that car and you're going to put it on a truck and hopefully you'll head it toward a port to go overseas. And if the customer isn't acclimated and familiar with um, things surrounding the inland and the ocean, then there most likely will be problems, dilemmas, delays, and situationships that um, that you might need our assistance with. Right, and there's a lot to know there. So how did you come up with the idea to even start this idea? Whatever you I just love said. logistics. Um, dang. Okay, so I was a broker. I was a freight forwarder and a broker and a claims investigator. But the Twick Escort part came from necessity. Back in 07, 08, before they implemented Twick, uh, we were already hustling, taking cars in at a little yard, me and Tony on the west side, and Matt Swift Aero Transport. Like, we were all truck drivers, and we just decided to start our own um, company, auto transport company. We were loading fuel back then. We were at the fuel rack and the fuel rack shut down at midnight and we were just sitting there, had an hour to talk and chop it up. I was a broker already. So they were watching me on the computer, moving cars and doing it. We was like, well, let's just start our own company. So, and that's how it started. Mm, good. Okay. There's Candy. Which, yeah. And you know, that's right. And thank you, Candy. And I want to say Jason Hawk, Black Widow. Remember that interview? If you haven't seen it, go watch the Black Widow, I think it's Black Widow Imaging with Jason and, and Gang or something like that. Um, what he was talking about, it's very similar. I should have had Mother of Necessity as a mother of... I should have had that in the slides. Mm -hmm. Missed that one. But Good that work. is, you were satisfying a customer's need, and that's how... That's that is, that's that is organic growth, right? That wasn't Was that even planned, or you just realized, man, we got to do something? Oh. Okay. Bring it. You there? Yeah, we're here. All right, Tim. Yeah. So, hey, Candy, your story yeah. is amazing. What I want to know is, not this week. What's the craziest request you've had this week? <laughs> oh, anybody <laughs> on this show that no? Oh, I hope that question that was for me or for somebody That's for else. You, Candy. I, sounds like you live a crazy life. I want to hear the craziest request you had this week. Not I, in the history, just this week. Okay, this is uh, Saturday. Lord, I hope the po baby ain't on here. I, I, <laughs> it's, let me give you this one, because I can't give you that one, because I think they're on here. So let me All give right. you I know. And I do that, too. I'm sharing slides. I'm like, man, I... <laughs> dear Lord. No, I got one. Uh, and it's kind of port-related. Kind of, You have to kind of be there. Um, cause they brought a camper from Arizona. Some cool guys, four of them, rode up, brought it from Arizona. It's going overseas to the Middle East. And it's got propane tanks on it. So the propane tanks, of course, you can't put them on the ship or send them to the port with propane in the propane tanks. So um, he asked us to see if we could take the propane tanks, if he could, like, burn them off at our yard, like, take them off the trailer and, like, hold them outside and burn the propane off so that he could keep the, the tanks and put them inside the, the RV. So I told him no, and he still tried to do it. So I kind of come a little unhinged. I'm a little off the chain at times. But he was out there literally like a fight, like, like, he about to blow his ass. <laughs> he, <laughs> so, he's, he's got a lighter and he's just blowing. It's a flame coming out of the side of his propane tank. tank. Uh, he done opened the thing up. I'm at the other side of the yard. It's Saturday, like the other day. And I'm looking. And I, I politely drove right around the back. I was like, no, not today, Satan. And I started hitting you know, out the gate. And I called him on the phone. This is like, get him to the Greek when they're trying to get through TSA. You must see the craziest stuff. Man, it's just the guy today. Like, it, it just don't stop. Like, he's walking around trying to get a car in the port for $20. Told, somebody told him, hey, but he's been here since Friday. He said we're ripping him off. But he's been here since Friday trying to get a car delivered and port for $20. Ain't nobody taking your car in there for $20. So imagine how much money and time and energy he done spent since Friday trying to get this car in the port. <sighs> there's, there's a book deal in there somewhere. 
That's what. That's the oh, next idea. Oh yeah, that's that's <laughs> a movie. Hey, that's a series. He has story after story oh, after no. story. It just does not stop. So it does not stop. And the, and there's but at the same time you've you built a really good business down there, correct? Yeah, it's it's good. It had, it's in, it's got layers. And sometimes I don't give my own self credit because you'd be knee deep in the swamp and everybody like telling you you're the worst person in the world because you didn't get it done 30 minutes ago. So you can't really like look and go, breathe a little bit. You got this because you like in the trenches. But yeah, it's, it's got some intricate levels, layers to it. And I'm proud of all of them because, you know, a lot of that money I spent on school while I was driving trucks, taking them online classes and, you know, trying to do credits and courses a lot of it makes sense now. So I'm just proud that what I spent my money on is actually, you know, I'm able to, to use it and work with it. Good for you. Buchanan. Yeah, Candy, great story. And thank you for sharing. Uh, obviously, you're, you're dealing a lot with exports. <laughs> How has your mind worked in looking at expanding that potentially to imports as well? Well, we get to handle some imports, but we're such a light touch on it. Like uh, my mantra in my head every day, my motivation is like to to assist, to assist just a, a really good assistant. Because when I was a broker, when I was a freight forwarder, like I needed a me, I needed a heavy hitter, somebody who may not say no, but it's gonna get it done. And it might not be pretty, but it's gonna be done. So, and that's what I just try and be. And that's where we are. So every day it's, it's live, it's never like, it's never a dull moment. That, that's amazing. And thank you. And that reminds me of something that, that I, I've been shared too. If, if every day you get better by 1%, yeah, it doesn't look like much, but in a hundred days, you just got a hundred percent better. And, wow. and it seems like you have that work ethic and I, I love it. There's, there's no one else other than you, Candy. And you, you, you're proving that on a daily basis. Thank you. We we try, it, you know, often imitate it, never duplicate it. That's good. Eddie? And, and that is good because we're doing this live. We're here. We're here live connecting the dots. Thank you all so much for helping me do that. Eddie, what do you got? You got a question for Candy? Yeah. How did you come up with that idea? Candy, this great story sounds, sounds exciting. Um, I'm curious, when you went from truck driving you decide you was getting into auto transport did you get into the carrier side of it at all or did you go or did did you did you not did you ever actually transport cars yeah we did we have uh on different levels um mostly hmm not to put all our business out there but mostly like intricate oem our capacity, we just to clean up, you know, like, you know, when you call that number and you just, you can't handle a no, you need this to be done. Let's say you got a car at Copart or IEA local over here and we get this every day. So shout out to everybody on the show that, that call us last minute when you can't get to Copart or IEA and we can come through for you. We appreciate it. Every time that you think of us enough to actually go, they're going to get somebody over there to get this car picked up. So I won't have to stay an extra day or the weekend. So it's kind of like those one hitters, the the local moves, just really, really very specialized, very niche market right here in the port of Jacksonville area. And, you know, Jacksonville, some Brunswick. We used to really kill Brunswick back in the day, but the cargo shifts. Excellent. Ron. Thank you. Yep. Can you hear me? Ron, what's hey, up? Ron. What's going on, everybody? Hey. hey. <laughs> Good to see you all. Yes. How are you been, Ron? Good. How are you, Candy? How's everybody? Good. 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 Good to see you, Ron. I hope you don't hear a lot of background noise. I, I thought I'd be home by now, so I rushed, but I didn't make it, so I just pulled over and, and <laughs> took a uh, picnic chair over here and uh, sat down. Hopefully, you don't hear any background noise. Uh, okay, well, we're going to interview Ron, I guess, real quick, and then we'll come back around. But Ron, I kind of told some people about you. you. You're up in the New York area, correct? Yep. And you've, you've been hauling cars for quite a while, right? Yeah, I've probably been in the business now at least 25 years. Yeah. And uh, 
have do you have more than one truck? Uh, yeah, I've uh, owned trucks. I still do, but I mostly have owner operators work for me at this point. I mean, I've been doing this for so long that um, that you know, as everything else, you start to learn what's better for you. For me, it was better just having owner operators, especially in this area. Uh, so mostly, I just have owner operators who are signed on to me. Uh, but uh, I'm out of this uh, Northeast Long Island area, and um, it's it's a great place. I love it here. I know a lot of people don't like it, but the the, the flow and the traffic and all that stuff, it just, for me, is a nice recipe of just getting wet by the river, you know? It's just so close to it that if, you, uh, if you're close enough, you'll get wet. You know, things go by. They think this place is so big. There's so, so, many, uh, so much competition, but there's, there's enough for everybody to eat around here. Mm, good. Okay. And you're, uh, <clears throat> there's some, you've got some history in this car hall and you've, you've kind of done a little bit of other things too. Haven't you been overseas? Is that right? Yeah, actually the way I got into this, believe it or not, was because my father had an exporting company. He used to export used uh, uh, Japanese American cars to South America and Central America. Uh, in 96, uh, I remember he was in the uh, Maritime Journal of Commerce as one of the top 10 exporters on the East Coast. And uh, he just kind of was like one of those dads that just took me everywhere. And I was fortunate for that. So uh, my father would open up warehouses in different countries in their duty free zones, ship cars over. And from there would just be distributed throughout. For example, they would go to South America at a certain uh Call and from there it would be distributed to other parts of the uh, uh, other countries within South America. Uh, so I got to do that with him, spend months at a time overseas and and watch all that uh, develop and unfold. And it was great. I loved it. Uh, you know, of course, once you get married, you start to settle down, you know, kind of uh, you can't do that as much. But that's how I actually got into this. Uh, and uh, I can go on and on. It was it, it's, uh, I did so much, but to make it short, Back in, what was it? I'm trying to remember the year now. It's been so long. One country kind of closed down for imports for a while. And that caused like a ripple effect within Sa South America at the time. So things changed. And when I saw how things can change drastically overnight, it kind of scared me off a little bit. That's why I kind of just stayed domestic. And once my father decided to retire and stuff and break everything up, uh, it was just kind of easier to stay in the transport uh, division of it, per se. And... Um, I've been doing it ever since. I probably been just exclusively doing car hauling, I guess, for the past 15 years, maybe. Uh, the first 10 was just doing that exporting with my father. Uh, it was a family business. Uh, it was great. Uh, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I learned so much, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for my father for, to to uh, to uh, bring me along and and, uh, and show me all that and just throw me out there. But it was great. That's how I got into this. All right. Well, I'm not going to. Ask him more wow. questions, Tim. Hey, hey, Ron. Nice to meet you. Tim Scott was here. Nice so to meet what, you, Tim. What is it that uh, it's super competitive? I grew up in the Northeast. I got out a while ago. God bless you for, thank, for somebody's <laughs> got to be there. I know it's it's tough, but uh, it's not for everybody. <laughs> but I just I love it. It sounds like it's. Here, so. I so can't get enough pizza. <laughs> hey, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Uh, if you, what is it that's different about you though? Like, how do you separate yourself? You said it's uber competitive. I believe it is. You know, what is it you that makes it is? Yeah, it definitely goes back to something you mentioned, Tim, before that, of course, uh, Ty says a lot, definitely relationships, especially after so many years and especially in the climate we're in now with this pandemic and everything, relationships have gone a long way. And I'm going to be honest with you at first, a while back, even not too long ago, you know, yeah, relationships are always great to have, but it was getting so spread out that you were thinking, you know what, maybe I'll never see that person again. But then all of a sudden when something like this happens, it, again, in, in this it, pandemic environment we're in, those relationships have come and just blossomed. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe, thank goodness, you know, I've always had this in the background, not knowing how one day it was just going to support and help us around here kind of through. And I'm kind of those companies i kind of just lay back I, I try not to uh let everybody know what i'm doing and just kind of you know fly under the radar I do my thing uh, i'm not there to step on anybody's toes just come in get the job done and i'm out uh and luckily again because of those relationships i've uh, been able to stay in the loop uh people reach out for me and i'm always thankful i'm always grateful even for just a little bit of information just something i don't care if it's a question i always feel so thankful that 
they thought of me to ask me that question. And uh, again, the relationship's definitely, you know, it, it it's it's a priceless. Good stuff, man. Mike. Yeah, I'll jump right into it. So, so Ron, Mike Buchanan, ARI, good to meet you. Um, good to meet you. My college roommate was from Long Island, and we still have this debate over pizza because I grew up in Chicago. <laughs> Deep dish pizza is still better than New York style because New York style could be intimidated <laughs> anywhere. Uh, but Chica there's something about Chicago deep dish. We won't get into it. Let uh, bygones be bygones. Um, but one of the things I wanted to bring up, especially on this format here, has to really come down to uh, what was that catalyst to move into that owner operator type of environment instead of having all your own trucks? Uh, just um, knowing how people are operating in today's environment. You know, for me, it's just the expense of living in this region that I'm in between tolls especially tolls i mean each one of my truck literally to come on and off the island it's probably close to 300 dollars a day per truck okay so the expense the repairs the the, the also the, so much traffic that that uh there's a lot of delays um as far as trucks sometimes get into certain areas that really when you have an owner operator they they really care about their stuff they really care about expenses that to me that liability was kind mm -hmm. of taken off my hands when I knew these owner operators going to care uh, about a lot of stuff uh, because it's it's more or less coming out of their pocket as well. Uh, so for me here, that works. Uh, and now, especially again, going back to what just happened now, this whole pandemic, a lot of you know these carriers around me closed down for a little bit. Fortunately, because my life, mm -hmm. my my. My liability was so low, I was able to kind of navigate a little bit, stay afloat, and, and here I am. I haven't stopped, uh, 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 even though uh, we've come to this uh, uh, freeze a little bit. So that, for me, in this area is, is why I do it that way. I, I know there's bigger carriers in this area that, that have also started doing it, uh, and I definitely stole the idea a little bit from them, and I see why. It, it, it makes a little bit of sense over here. So, again, it might not be for everybody, but for me, um, it, it, it works. It, it's just better. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Ron. No problem. Eddie? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, curious. How how long did you go at it yourself before starting with the owner-operators? Um, actually, i got to say consistently probably the last five years, it's just been owner-operators. Maybe, yeah, I said five. It's been the last five or three years. Just so much has happened over the past five years. I... I can't pinpoint it, but yeah, about that. Um, and again, it's just my area for me, it, it works. Good. I see. Good. Candy, do you have any questions for Ron? Not really right now. I have one, but uh, it might be a little bit long. Okay, well, hold uh, on. I'm gonna, let me yeah. get Lawrence real quick. Hey, Lawrence, Lawrence. are you still there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Lawrence? We see you. We hear you. What's you going me? on? There you are. All right. Uh, good. Sorry about like that earlier. That's fine. I like the t-shirt. Okay, so where are you at? Uh, thank you. I'm currently in Texas right now. Okay, you're in Texas. Arling Arlington, Texas. What are you doing Dallas, there? Dallas, Texas. I picked up some SUVs here uh, out of the uh, Arlington plant. Yeah. And you drive for Jack Cooper, right? Yes, sir. And you, Bowling Green, Bowling Green, Bowling, Kentucky. Bowling Green, you mostly haul Corvettes, right? This is an odd, yeah. odd run for you. No, it's a backhaul, basically. Backhaul. It's it's our hottest run uh, okay. to uh, Texas. Yeah. Okay, got it's it. Our hottest run. So, what are you seeing in your world? What am I seeing in my world? You're oh um, yeah, you're hauling new cars. You're apparently hauling them. So yeah, what yeah. We're, what are you doing? We're we're rocking and rolling. Uh, we're we're doing some hiring off the street now, which is unfortunately, I mean, it's it's unusual uh, to hire off the street. Normally, we uh, hire within, and there's not enough uh, workers out there now to uh, for the demand of because uh, we 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 just took off uh, most of the freight off the uh, trains and and we're hauling them ourselves and. Uh, we even got a guy that never hauled cars before in training. And I'm like, that's scary, hauling Corvettes. It's very scary. Right. Hey, I want to mention, 
So I'm driving to Durango. Okay? Kansas City to Durango. I'm taking uh, <clears throat> two lane highways for over half of it. And I saw long lines of auto racks sitting out on tracks doing nothing. And I thought, is that normal? Or what? Anybody? Is that normal? I don't know. Long lines of auto racks sitting on tracks doing nothing. Sounds like a in these times. Or, yeah, I mean that is a I don't know. But I thought yeah. somebody somewhere is thinking we're losing money on this. Right. I I've, I recently heard that a uh, a a uh, a train uh, hit a hybrid hit a high uh, hit something and they tow up a bunch of the cars on the train, which is unusual. They may have went off route, and they tow a bunch unusual. of the... Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, okay, so you've got an idea. What's your idea? What's my idea? Yeah. What was your big idea? Do you want to start your own car hauling company? Um, hmm. You know, I've... Uh, I've been in the industry, um, mostly union, uh, 15 years. Um, uh oh, lights went out. This is my reason. We maybe. lost the light. I should have put that. Maybe the lights went out. And that's how you got your idea. <laughs> <laughs> the light didn't come on, the light went off. The that's light right. went out. Didn't pay my that's electric cool. bill. So I had to come up with a great idea. Can is, can is Candy having fun? Do I hear Candy? Or. Is is she laughing or is she blurring digitally? If you're just joining us, back to camera one, if you're just joining us, you are watching Auto Transport Intel. It's on Tuesday night. Now, we normally end around 10, but we're going to go another 15 minutes. Um, but, yeah, we've got Candy's audio. She's gone into, like, you know, on the Matrix when they go into bullet time and everything kind of... That's where Candy's audio has gone. Lawrence um, has turned the lights off. Because he didn't like the question. <laughs> <And> Big idea. <laughs> Ron is trying to figure out if deep dish really is better. Like, I know it's better. I just don't want to say it out loud. There we go. Fight. Fight. Um, and ultimately, if, if, if I yeah. could, if I could interject, yeah, I want, yes. I want to interview Ty a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. Let's that. Uh, that's yeah. great. Let's ask Ty a question. Yeah, because Ty has a big history. I've done my little research on him, just like I like to do on everybody. <laughs> and Ty has a good history, too, as well. Ty, uh, am I wrong? Uh, did you own a pretty large fleet at one time? Uh, what was your start with uh, the auto transport? And, and uh, uh, how did you and Jamie, because together you guys hit it off and you guys worked so good together. Uh, that's another uh, chemistry I like to see a lot. So let's start off with the first question. Uh, give us a little bit of your uh, history on, on that fleet you had before. Um, I got into the transport business from sales. So I started out selling investments at a hospital. Hospital employees can make contributions pre-tax to what's called a 403B. So I was doing that, <clears throat> ran into a buddy that I went to high school with, whose dad bought a tow truck company, local, that I've seen since I was a kid. And uh, he said, hey, you wanna come for a ride? I said, yeah, sure. I went for a ride with this guy <clears throat> and I paid zero attention to what was happening. All I could focus on was everywhere we went, we got $25 cash, cash. Everywhere we went, $25 cash. It's like, man, I like this business. So got out of selling stuff went into to tow trucks, saw the tow truck business was going to have a problem, saw it coming, right? We pay attention. Entrepreneurs pay attention to everything that's going around. That's why on this show, we don't just talk about how to load a car and put a strap on. We got to watch everything. So I'm into sales. I love sales. And I love talking to car dealers. I don't know why, because I met them in the tow truck business. They call. My customer just bought a car. He broke down. Hurry up. Go. I love service, right? I love helping people. I love seeing people happy when I show up. That's what makes me excited. So sold the tow truck business. Thought, hey, I saw this one guy one time in Joplin with a one-ton and a three-car trailer, and he had cars on it. I bet he's, hauling, he's doing something. 
So I talked to one of my car dealer buddies. What's that? He said, that's a car hauler. He picks up the cars at the auctions that we buy and he brings them back. Do you like the guy? He looks mean. No, I can't stand him. He uses bad words and he's really angry all the time. And I don't want to do business with that guy. Would you haul my cars? To? Yeah, sure. Let me go buy a truck and a trailer. I'll get, I'll get it real quick. And we'll move your cars from here to here. Okay. So just stepping back and just paying attention. Just watch. You don't even have to talk. Just listen. Cars come in, cars go out. How does this happen? Take a couple of steps back. So anyway, seeing the need, what's the need? The car dealer wants his stuff now. So with the sales experience, simple observation, I was able to put together something really cool. I went from a one ton and a three car in five years to 20 brand new Peterbilt Stingers that haul nine cars at a time, like that fast. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I see. That's why I read good. It came from relationships, relationships, and relationships, period. I mean, I worked my ass off, don't get me wrong. Drove that truck like you haven't seen anybody drive. It got story after story after story, driving and driving and driving to get the cars to the guy because he needs them, right? Tears. I got, I got stories that I can start crying right now as I'm telling him about the troubles and the tribulations and the trials that I've had to get the damn car to the dealer. Right. There's a lot of stress involved. But the point is, is that the relationships that this guy, Mike, Tim, uh, Ron, Eddie, Candy, Lawrence, I'm telling you, you listen, to you, it's this business. There is I don't I don't think I've seen another business that is so focused around relationships at every level, every level. I'm talking every level to the guy that the truck stop that has the thing that he cleans the chrome on your wheels, that guy, right? It's relationship. Everybody knows somebody in this business. So I got started uh, out of what I saw coming. I saw a problem coming. I didn't want to deal with the problem. So I sold the tow truck company, came out good, got out just in time, started the transport company, and it just took off. So how I met Jay, <clears throat> I had gone through a wicked divorce. Uh, That's always a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Wicked divorce, married for a long time, got out, helped a guy for a little while, and now I met Jay. While I was helping this other guy for a little while, I met Jay at Super Dispatch because this guy had a need. How do I keep track of all my cars? How do I do my billing? Well, I've heard of a company in Kansas City called Super Dispatch. Get a hold of Super Dispatch, meet him, meet back, talk to him. I'm there. I meet Jay. I send Jay this little clip that I made a long time ago. It's that we the clip. Play. This is the beginning. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we'll have to play the clip, right? <laughs> so anyway, I sent him that, and he, he just loved it, and there was an immediate connection there. And Jay, Jay and I, I don't know if you guys know this, but we're not at all alike. <laughs> day and night, day well, and night. We, we, we have you guys don't even live in the same state, do you? But it, well, but it is true that we have a lot of things that are not parallel. But it's so this is a I'll take the baton because uh, I just wrote down a couple of things that you were talking while you were talking. See, I gravitate towards creative people that are also focused, communicate well, and are paying attention to everything. It's not just creativity that I desire. I need also some of those other... Ty just checked all the boxes. You know how, like, when you hear an incredible comedy routine, you're like, I just want to be their friend and drive cross-country with that person. You know, there's something about an amazing comedian. You feel like they're family. Like, oh my God, you get me. <laughs> and so when I heard Ty's... What's the name of the guy? Can we say it out loud? I thought no. it was a secret. No, 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 no. The name of your character guy. Yeah. J.D. You Oh, J.D. You follow. Yeah, that's right. How did you forget him? Oh, uh, Candy. We, yeah, we, yeah, well, we, we haven't revisited J.D. in a while. It's well, okay. Many people won't back, know. Yeah. Damn. That's an eye. We're good. So, J, okay. So, I hear J.D. You fall. And that, I, I, <laughs> within, a, within a day or two, I, I saw a tie outside of a conference room, and I just said, Dude, I'm a content guy. Like, the onboarding and all the other stuff that's great and all, 
but I'm really a content guy, and I know you are too, because I heard JDU Paul. And it's genius, and we gotta talk. Something like that. It was literally, I, I can almost remember the moment. Yeah. And that, and but we didn't reconnect for a while, because then, yeah. that's part of it. Gotta find, there has to be a reason. I mean, we can sit around and drink coffee and talk about all this stuff, but if we're not doing anything, because that goes back into where'd you get that idea? You can sit around and talk and lay in hammocks and stare at the sun. You can do all that stuff, but if you're not getting anything done, you're not checking off a box for me. It's got to be a purpose. And that's what I think one of the things for for us, uh, Ron, and I think that's a great question. You guys don't ever hear Jay and I talk about much about no, it. No, I, I, if it wasn't because in the very beginning when I reached out to Jay, uh, I'm not sure if Jay mentioned something or whatever, and then all of a sudden it triggered us. Wow, these these two are great together. And then when you guys went live on that at one of the uh, shows you guys were at, and you were you were uh, holding the room. I forgot what it was on, and actually Ty, you were talking. I was like, oh my god, these guys are great on camera. This is great. This is not that, that that chemistry just kept me glued. I was like, you know what? This is great. I gotta watch this. And like I said before, I, you know. You guys are doing a great job. I'm, I'm always in tune. You guys keep me in tune as much as I can. And uh, when I miss for a week or two, and all of a sudden I come back, I'm like, I felt like I missed like a whole season. I'm like, oh my god, now I gotta catch up. You know. So I love that, guys. I really hand it to you guys. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of determination. A lot of sweat. And uh, I definitely appreciate it, guys. But go ahead, Ty. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I just want to say this. That's what's great, Ron. Is that the secret? Is that to get the camera set, get the lights set, get the microphone set, and then as soon as we're ready, hit just hit record. Just hit record, capture the whole thing, and then maybe edit. We really need to do more editing. As the, actually, here's a secret. As this as as ATI grows, there will be more editing. But for the purpose of cuz as we get new recruits, people that have found out about this, look, the views have dropped off. Nobody can watch for two hours. I don't have time for this. I gotta go lay in a hammock and stare at the sun. See how I use that again? But the point is is that if we could edit parts, and then that's how you can consume it, because good content has to be consumable too. Yeah, like in Tim and, and Mike, you know, the, if you guys you guys need to really get on LinkedIn and follow Mike, Mike Buchanan, and follow Tim, uh eight uh Max Digital, Mike Buchanan, A R I, <clears throat> and watch it. It's it, Jay just nailed it. What are, What are your videos, Mike? Yours are maybe four minutes max. Right, consumable. Yeah, yeah. I try to actually keep it under two minutes. Uh, yeah. I fall into what's called the hammock all the time and staring at. It's not the sun anymore. <laughs> it's these ring lights. But, right. Uh, yeah, There's I'm right no ozone. Right yeah. yeah, and Tim, Tim's yeah. doing a similar thing, right? Yeah, I, I run a small Facebook group. I'll post some stuff on the LinkedIn. I got a, a close group of used car guys I work with. But, yeah, listen, I know you're all ADD. I know you can stare at the road all day long, the windshield. But I know when it comes to watching stuff, Jay, Jay's spot on. It's got to be in snippets. But, listen, it's growing. That's the next idea. <clears throat> well, and it's good. So <clears throat> that answers, uh, I think, does that answer your question, Ron? Kind of yeah, yeah, I can, I can grab some honest. more. I, I have some stuff, uh, other stuff. But let's, let's pass the baton here. I, I want to hear what everybody yeah. else has to say. But it's fun, and that's what's neat, too. What's neat, we're at episode 200, and you're just finding out something new. And, again, that's the point is really trying to keep the information moving around. And, honestly, I didn't know back at episode 10 when it was dispatcher training. I, what I knew is I can't do this for I can't do dispatcher training for 200 episodes, which is why, right, one-trick ponies, we can all spot them. So anybody still being a one-trick pony? Nah, we know. We know what's going on. Well, but um, where I think the, <clears throat> the, the beautiful part, it's, 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 it's right here on the screen, okay? I wouldn't have met Tim. I wouldn't have met Mike. And, I, and the funny thing is, I didn't know Tim, but I'd, I'd heard Mike's name in my world. I mean, Mike, I knew, I knew ARI. I kind of knew Mike. Mike's on the screen and we're, we're having a conversation. Tim's on the screen, we're having a conversation. So again, you know, what we talk about on the show, we try, try to make it uh, something that you can digest, something you can use for your business, something that you can consider, get your brain thinking about the overall, how do I make money in this business? But again, for me, 
we we're looking at ATI and we're saying <clears throat> to to have a guy like Tim, to have a guy like Mike, hey, can you guys come on and join us and tell us what you're seeing, what you know? That's that's really a big deal for Jay, for sure. And it's really a big deal for me because I'm getting I mean, this this IARA that I'm going to. OK, th this sounds stupid. I mean, to me to say this, this sounds stupid. I am so excited. There are going to be people there that I've known their name for 20 years and have wanted to shake their hand. It sounds stupid, but it's true. <laughs> And I mean it, and I'm really excited because they're like like my content. I mean, these guys these guys are good at what they do, and they do a great job at it. Okay, I'm done. Thanks. And I want to say that I truly believe, just as we all were, none of us are frozen. We're all evolving all the time, and I'm looking to be a part of something that's evolving. I don't want to be frozen in time. I don't. And so well, this is part, I, we're part of evolution. Yeah. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm personally, I mean, yeah. <laughs> speaking of evolving, he's evolving into sleep time. Pumpkin. It is, <laughs> it is, pumpkin it after 10 PM, he turns into a pumpkin. Um, <laughs> all right, then here we go. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Here's, here's my final thought. Where'd you get that idea? You got it from failing a bunch of times. That's where you got that idea. <laughs> so, good job to everybody. Ding. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Jay. Thanks for joining us, Tim. That was awesome. I really, we love having you on. We're looking forward to a Friday with, what is it? MBOI, yeah. Melting Block of Ice. Maybe In live fact, from, I may be live from a back lot. I'm going to be, uh, but I, I, we're going to do this show. I got a good couple ideas for us, though. Good. That'll be fun. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Mike. Cool. Eddie, good to see your face. Call me Thursday. Candy, well, love dude. you. Ron. You too, guys. Appreciate it all. Every. I'm peace Thank out. Thank you see all everybody. So Congratulations, much. Jay. Thank Hello. you, Mike. Thanks for joining us tonight. And Eddie and Ron and Candy Hello. and I end the meeting. Bang. Back to camera one. Cue the credits. Uh, wow. You guys, um, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Again, on another Tuesday night, on episode 200 in a row on Tuesday Night's Live. I want to thank Murphy Auto Transport Services. Thank you so much, Sue. Please join us on Thursday on Dispatching Live. We've had a lot of questions coming in. Dispatching Live, we got DOT questions coming in. That's going to be a great show tomorrow. I think we're going to be on at 3.30. Thank you, uh, Mark Grodeke at Superflow Systems, NN Auto Transport Software, what are you looking for? CRM, TMS, load board, let us know. Put it in the live chat. Send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Thank you, Vlog. Are you looking to track global assets a better way without outspending the way you're doing it now? Go to Vlog, that's V-I-L-O-G dot I-O, and schedule a demo. Find out more about how that can put your business in the driver's seat. I want to thank Black Widow Imaging. Thank you so much, Black Widow Imaging and the gang. They're going to be back in August. We're going to do another Black Widow Imaging show. In fact, here's a newsflash. I don't even think you know this yet, Ty. What we're going to do is the week that we're doing IARA, uh, we're going to be live in San Antonio. I think that Tuesday night is with Black Widow. We're going to put cameras everywhere. We're going to shoot it. We're going to be live, and it's going to be great. Um, and that's, that's really going to be cool. Also, I want to thank uh, National Vehicle Transporters Alliance. Go NVTA.org. Find out how you can get discounts and join programs to save money on uh, tires, insurance, etc. Also as a business resource center. Thank you for joining the live chat. Everybody in the live chat, thank you so much for saying hello tonight, for contributing and being a part of the experience um, yes, it is not just a show. It's a community. You're a huge part of it. And I really do appreciate you for taking the time. Whether you're watching live or on demand, you know, if you missed the live chat and you're watching this later, please do say something in the comments below. Where'd you get that idea? We do want to know. And then once we know, can we help you with your idea? Can we help you pivot? Can we help you stop a bad idea? We want to help. This is not an easy peasy, one size fits all, fix it, and then, you know, turn the lights off and count the money and go home. No, not really. 
it's an ongoing deal and we're here we want to help you remember you can go to autotransportintel.com click on sign up and talk to Ty. Be a part of it. Let us know how we can help. If you miss this show, if you've got a company, product, or service, and you think you're ready, you want to talk. Maybe you're not ready for prime time Tuesday night. Maybe you're ready for a Friday show, and you can ease right into it. Just back into that parking spot. Talk to Ty. We'll bring you on live on Cars on the Move. And then from there, maybe you're ready. Maybe we'll coach you and bring you up to a Tuesday night. We can figure it out. If you want to do a, a embedded video or a uh, interview or just join a panel. Maybe you saw a panel. You're like, you know what? I want to do that. I want to talk on the panel. Send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Thank you all so much for being a part of it. Here comes the car hauler. You guys have a good night. Stay safe. Please join us tomorrow on DOT Compliance. Really appreciate you. Take care. Have a good night, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.